Hello fellow gamers, I am your host Brent Justice and welcome to my channel Just Gaming For Us. I hope you enjoyed that introduction video of my Sanctuary Hills Fallout 4 settlement build that I am about to do a tour of for you right now. If you are unfamiliar with what I'm going to be doing here, please check out the introductory video that I made that explains what I'll be doing here. I'll put a card in the top right corner that you can click to go watch that video. That explains what I'm about to do here, but I'll briefly summarize. I'm going to be doing Fallout 4 settlement builds or showing you Fallout 4 settlement tours in on my channel now. But what I want to do before I start making new builds here in 2020, because I'm going to actually replay the entire game, before I do that, I want to show you some of the older builds that I made years ago when the game was a lot newer because I've never really showed you any of my settlement builds from all of the settlements in Fallout 4. So I wanna show you my older settlement, settlement builds. So these are builds I made between the years of like 2015, 16, 17, 18. So that is what we're going to do now, starting here with Sanctuary Hills and then I'll do Red Rocket and we'll go through and I'll just show you all of them. Now the thing to understand as we walk up here to Sanctuary Hills from Red Rocket is that um, I made these these settlements with mods back in the day. A lot of those mods are now broken. That means objects are going to be missing, textures are going to be missing, many things are going to be missing. I have tried to fix it since then. I have been completely unsuccessful at fixing it. Let me turn the menu off there. And um, so that means some of those things are just going to be broken, but I will point them out. I will point those things out so at a time, in a time, these settlements actually did look better than what I'm about to show you now. They were more complete, more solid, and just simply better. But it is what it is, so I'll just show you how it is right now, completely broken. Also, my save game is extremely unstable, which is another reason why I want to actually do a new playthrough of the game, because my current uh, saved game is just so unstable. All right, so we're coming up on a Sanctuary Hills here, and um, the bridge is one thing that was a mod I had used in the past. Uh, someone had made a mod that actually fixed this bridge, which is something I think the settlers would do, since it's your primary in and out of Sanctuary Hills. I would think that the bridge would be one of the first things that they would repair, and so I had a mod that fixed that, but it's broken now, but anyway... Just imagine that the bridge is somewhat fixed so you can easily travel over it. As we pan over here across the water, you can easily see how I have a lot of fishing area set up. I imagine they will be utilizing the lake and the flowing water to capture fish. That is their sustenance. This is a big part of the settlement, obviously, is being able to utilize the water. So we have a lot of water-based things here that I have created, and we'll take a tour and go through all of that. Pan back around, and you start to see some of the structures come into view, some custom structures that obviously are not there in vanilla. I've also got lights going along the uh, bridge here. This is supposed to light it up at night, just give travelers a little bit of light coming into sanctuary hills they're not connected right now and they don't work but the idea was there okay now my idea with this particular build of sanctuary hills is that it would be a very open build it would be one that invites people in while i do have it walled off in the back side it is the front side i have completely open yet protected by turrets and guards and all that but it gives it an open feel. It doesn't make it feel claustrophobic. I did not want Sanctuary Hills to feel like a prison. So it feels very open and inviting, but at the same, same time protected. When you're here, you know you're gonna be protected. So no walls in the front. I repaired some places that had holes in them, but uh, absolutely no walls in the front. Uh, just barriers and ways to protect you know, people coming in. Uh, and the idea here is just uh, you come right in and you're greeted by some turrets that could take you out easily on the left and the right if you are a threat. We have laser turrets up on top and they are connected and are working. 
We have a guard set right here also to aid and protect us. And then one is supposed to be right here, but not at their duty apparently. And I have another guard post over here that uh, a couple of guard posts actually that can also have guards that just watch out, you know, that way and that way. And then this guard has a great view over the bridge and that way and that way. So a lot of good protection as you come inside Sanctuary Hills. Um, lamps. I have littered the entire street all the way through with lamp posts. This lights it up at night and makes it look very inviting and very lit and vibrant and not dark and scary and spooky because this place can look real spooky at night. Now as we come here, I'll just take a quick left to show you what I built in this area. As I get stuck, literally, I am stuck. There we go. And we have a couple of guard posts. We have a missile turret above, and it has a very tall and wide view above and can take anybody out. A very large generator to power all these things up at the front here. This is uh, all on its own separate power. Um, a couple of garbage cans. You can never forget the garbage. Remember, people are living in Sanctuary Hills. They're going to have garbage. They need to put it somewhere, right? So I imagine the settlers put their garbage here just like you would. You put your garbage out, and then somebody hauls it off to go far, far away. Let's say we have a, a, a person assigned to that who just takes the trash far, far away. <laughs> or we recycle it best we can. Obviously that would be the key thing here. A lamp post to provide light and again a turret back here which is going to protect the back side on this side across the water and the back side of the settlement. And as you come to the back side of the buildings you will see it's junk fences. Um, I could have gone with concrete fences all the way through but I wanted to mix it up and obviously wood is just a lot more simpler for them to build um, junk fences it's plenty especially considering all the defenses I have like that and then other things going along trash barrels to light it up at night and I will show you a night video as well because it's really really cool now this place well actually before we get to that building because that's its own unique little thing here let me show you the clinic or the hospital this is right as you come in Sanctuary Hills and again we are inviting to outsiders. We want traders to come in and trade with us. So the first thing we do though is we have this hospital set up so that they don't harm our settlement. If they come right in the first thing that they can hit up coming in the hospital and I'm not even sure if I have this working or not. Oh I do! is the uh, the anti-rads. We gotta come in with the anti-rad shower. Get that radiation off of them. So they come through, get the radiation off of them, get cleared. They can check in here at the clinic. There should be somebody posted here. And uh, this is a nice little area I just built right here inside. And they've even got a their own door so they're secure in there. And you check in and then you can wait here this is like the waiting room outside but then if you are injured you can come in and get some medical treatment now I did have this place way more decorated I had lots of medical items on the shelves and the shelves all filled up and all kinds of decorations in here unfortunately it brought the frame rate down to absolute nothing so I had to remove all those decorations I actually had every house in Sanctuary Hills decorated up but again the frame rate of the game just could not take it it was so unstable I had to remove those things but we have a couple of beds here nice beds give them nice beds so they can uh, you know be comfortable uh, so they can get better here more beds over here lots of tables to set things on I imagine they'll have you know they'll need lots of table space storage space for their clothes if they want need to you know put them in different clothing etc 
And then over here is just basically um, a, a rest area for the nurses. They have their own table. They can eat lunch, you know. They got a lockers that they can put things in and storage here. And then an office desk for the person on duty. They can uh, work in here and study people's charts and uh, all that stuff. And uh, just kind of decorated this room up nice with some pictures so they feel nice and comfortable in here. Uh, again, a hospital you want people to feel comfortable. I did have lots of pictures on the wall. I had to remove many of those, but I still have some of them. Uh, lots of cat pictures because we want our patients to feel comfortable here. So uh, literally, they're all cat pictures. <laughs> we have a fan. we got to keep them cool in the hot summer days. Um, and you'll notice my electricity going around the buildings on the inside and stuff. I have uh, electricity set up like that so that every place, every building in Sanctuary Hills has electricity. That was one of my goals. Every building should have electricity. We have a light here which indicates there's a surgery in progress, but there's nobody here. This is the surgery room. So let's say we've got some major surgery that we need going on. Uh, we have all the equipment and machines and oxygen and lamps to do uh, the surgery and fix our people up. And then the this is more of a long-term care solution. This is our long-term care room. A couple of people can be in here if they need to be in here for a long period of time. And uh, this is more short-term. And that's basically it. This is the first place the settlers will want to stop on their way in to, to get checked because we don't want them spreading radiation to all the other settlers in Sanctuary Hills. Now, this building, I'm very excited about this building. I created this from scratch. This is my own creation using the barn and windows and under other, uh, other items and things, all the uh, building material from that. I wanted a mall, okay? My idea for the traders coming in, instead of setting up trader huts, like those little trader huts you can set up, I wanted a mall type of situation. I wanted my settlers to come in or traders to come in or my people living here in the settlement to come in and have a mall. This is it. Now imagine there would be stairs here. One of my mods I had had stairs in it that uh, would lead up to the top here. That mod's missing so uh, no stairs right now but imagine there would be stairs here normally. As we come into this we have of course your typical mall waiting area. You can walk down the hall, quote, hall of the mall, and you have these benches you can sit on as you wait for your friends to buy all the things they want. Of course, a generator, because this place is completely hooked up for electricity. And turrets in the front to protect against anybody coming in and out of the mall, because again, the whole nature, you may just want to come into Sanctuary Hills just to use my mall. So I need to protect everybody coming in to my mall, and hence the turrets. Now, as we enter the mall, we have all of our stations. Look at this. We have the general. This is the general store. Uh, components, loot, sale, uh, stationery, books. This is your general store. Now, like I said, I did used to have this completely filled up with items. I did have... And for some reason, there's even the shelves have disappeared. I think that's a mod that has disappeared. I used to have shelves lining these entire walls. So just imagine this wall filled to the top with shelves. Same thing on this side, shelves, and then consider things in here as well. And there would be lots of items and general items for people to pick from. This would be a big room, so hence two doors in and out. Uh, because this is where most of the stuff would be, right here in this big room. And I love the idea of having the glass ceiling here. Just brings a lot of light in, so at night we can just have uh, normal lighting, but in the daytime you really don't need all that lighting because it just brings so much light in with the whole roof being uh, glass. That was one of my points here. I just love that. I just love that. You can see all around, very easy to see. It's just, I, I love how open this is. And these doors would lock, of course, for the owners. On this side, you have your drugs. So let's say the hospital said, you need some drugs from the pharmacy. Well, here you go. Here's the pharmacy. You can come in here and choose your rad meds and any kind of hypos you need or just anything. There's also a uh, little bit of a examination in here as well if you need it. 
Um, but basically, just imagine that this was filled up with shelves of uh, medical supplies as well. That would be very important in the Commonwealth. And also a big room here with the two double doors. It's a, just a bigger room for all of that stuff. Because that's very important stuff. Then we come to the armor room. This would be, well, armor. Imagine shelves of armor for your character or for your, your friends or whatever. Lots of armor. Just armor here. We'd have an armor person. Pretty self-explanatory. And then we come to the gun shop. This is the ammo. Extremely important. Uh, obviously, this is a bigger room because there would be a ton of ammo in here. And we keep it in the back. Keep it away so nobody can get to it real easily. But yeah, all the ammo back here. Um, just imagine people can you know, have shelves and shelves of different types of ammo. And ammo in the cases there. Just imagine that. On this side, we have a little bit of like a um, waiting room, you could say, for people who are in the mall here. You can buy some drinks, some bar stuff, some liquor, uh, have a little entertainment, sit at a table. Maybe you got a bite to eat. Uh, just kind of wait around and uh, basically spend money uh, if you're just, you know, here at the mall, spending the day at the mall. And then, of course, we have clothing as well. We've got our little clothing shop right in front of the armor shop where, uh, imagine, racks of clothing and stuff would be so you can have new clothing. And I just, again, I love the open ceiling feel. It's just so great. It just really opens this place up. And uh, no doors on the front here because you don't need it. Uh, you, all the uh, shops have their own doors that are locked. So you just walk in and enjoy the mall. What an awesome, awesome little building I made here. Not really little, just awesome. Um, the only, one of the other things I had here that I'm remembering is I did have bushes. I had some trees. Yes, I'm missing a tree mod. That's what it is. I had trees aligned all along the edge of this that were up pretty tall. So that's one thing that's missing here. I did have trees that lined the entire circumference or all the way around this thing. So unfortunately that's missing. It did add quite a bit to it. It made it look better, more decorative. And um, yeah, but that is missing. So I apologize for that. All right. Um, yeah. And as we walk down the street, I also had a mod that cleared up stuff like this, this mud overflow and grass overflow. That's not working right now, unfortunately. However, my mod that fixes the roofs on the houses, well, that one's working and I love that. Because I figure that's another thing the settlers would fix in the in Sanctuary Hills would be the roofs. They would not leave them a leaky. They would clean those up and cover those up. You wouldn't want uh, it raining inside your house. <laughs> so that's going to be one thing they would clean up. Um, so as we come around to like this house, some of the things I've done are patches. I've used some of the brick walls and uh, other things to patch the houses up so there's no holes in them. Again, I think that's something they would do is patch holes up. Uh, and then the window areas too. I put actual windows in there. I glitched those inside and check it out. It looks like a real window. It patches up the holes down here on the bottom and it gives it a, uh, a window, which is very realistic. Now it has windows. Can you believe that? <laughs> Come around the back side here. There's nothing really on the back side, just the fence here. And again, we just, you know, patched up the windows. There's a big hole here. So fix that up with some concrete. But all of these houses are going to be, and this guy, he's on the roof, or that woman, whoever that is, this guy on the roof. All of my houses, well, are supposed to have electricity. Again, some of that's broken right now. I actually had to remove some of that because of the cost burden. It was just draining resources. Uh, the frame rate was bad. The save game was so unstable. So some of the electricity I think I did have to pull from the houses. The idea was, however, every house would have electricity. Uh, so I did have a light here. It's obviously not working now. But these houses are for permanent people that are living here. That's the idea. They would be using these houses for that. And so I had these 
Oh, look at that thing floating there. Uh, that's terrible. Some of these uh, I had decorated really, really intensely. But again, I had to remove items because of the frame rate. So just imagine that the lighting works in here, the fan works in here, and all that. But we have some couches here. People just can live here. I had a kitchen here. That's one of the mods I'm missing, apparently. I had a kitchen here, so they had a stove and they had a fireplace, too. The fireplace is gone. Yeah, they had a stove, they had a fireplace, uh, a little desk there, a table, but a, a nice house. I mean, you know, you patched all up. It's uh, a nice place to live in uh, Fallout. Just a storage room here. I mean, not much there. I think I put that table in there. Uh, I put doors here. All of the rooms have doors. That was important. Need all the rooms to have doors so people can live in them, right? So we come in here and we actually have a working bathroom. We got a sink and a shower. Uh, my toilet's gone. No toilet. So I guess we're not going to have a toilet. And then the bedrooms, while well, they they are definitely uh, got beds in them. Several people can live in, a, in one room. Just a nice place to, to stay. And again, windows. They all have windows. More beds in here, the back, the uh, bricked up backside, because you can see how that was totally open before. Uh, just pictures and decorations. And again, I had more decorations here, but I had to pull it. And this is pretty much what I've done to every house, is just to decorate every house so that it's livable. We want a livable situation here. I put a bus here on this guy's house. Let's say he's a tinkerer. He managed to get this in here and he's working on it, taking parts from it, using it, who knows what. But as we go in this house, the same thing basically. Uh, we have, you know, some couches, place to live. I had a fireplace there. That's gone. I had a kitchen there. That's gone. Dining room. Uh, again, this is a nice looking room with the, uh, I guess what I did is I pulled the electricity out of here and then I replaced it with lamps. Uh, these gas lamps or whatever they are. That, uh, that way we get some light in here. This is a smaller room, just one bed. Nice for somebody though. And then this is a bathroom. I wanted every house to have a bathroom, a working bathroom. But my toilet and sink are gone. That was one of my mods I had was a toilet and sink right there. That's gone. But at least we got a window in there. This also has a door. Yep, that's working. And this is a porch that I built on the side of the house here. I just gave it a nice little porch so they would have that figured why not let's go around the back side here and see what I got in the back I have nothing I think I did have stuff here before I had like a picnic table and just a couple of chairs or something out here uh, but right now it's blank for resource reasons but there's a lot of room here to put something for sure okay now let's uh, let's pause right here for a second and just take a gander at what I got going on here because this is very unique this building is completely unique. Constructed it myself. This is a bar and entertainment center. Okay, that's our main bar for the for the whole settlement and entertainment. Okay, it's got two floors, two stories. Directly in front of it is the path that leads toward the vault up there on the hill. I wanted this to be our emergency exit. This leads to the vault on the hill, and I wanted everybody to know it. I wanted to protect my settlers if we had to just book it and run toward the vault. So I made it clear, this is covered, this is protected. I have turrets here to protect people coming in and out, because I have a gate back here that leads to the outside. Turrets, generators, um, more turrets, I've got... Uh, a missile turret, I got laser turrets, I've got gun turrets. They all protect the inside area here from people coming through the gate because this is an, an entrance and exit. And then beyond and over that, the uh, missile launcher can, you know, fire back there and protect us. But if we open the gate, 
you can see this leads to the outside where the vault is up there. This just gives my settlers a direct path to the vault. I have it lit up with some lighting. At night you'll see it. It shows up really good and just illuminates the gate so they know where it's at. So at all times we know where the exit's at. And back here, I used to have an outhouse because this house has no bathroom. I used to have an outhouse here, but it has disappeared, so no outhouse. I also closed this up so that nobody could come directly through the gate and into all of our backyards and mess us up. So I actually closed that off as a little bit of protection against people coming through the backside. Okay, let's go in this house first before the bar. So this house is a little more decorated up. I put some fences around here. They got an ice machine. Um, they have some just chilling out area up here in the front. Uh, nice living room. Again, the windows glitched inside. Um, just more space here. I had a kitchen, full kitchen back here, but it is gone. No kitchen. So imagine a kitchen back here. And then also uh, more rooms. This is really nice. This would be a really nice place to live. The window. Look at all that furniture they have. Just a lot of good stuff in there. And uh, again, more furniture in, in there. And a little table to do some work on. Uh, again, they don't have a bathroom in here. So this is like yeah, they could wash their hands in this sink or whatever. Put some water in there and keep, you know, keep their hands clean. That's about it, I guess. And uh, this is floating. I guess I had some furniture there that's also disappeared. That's unfortunate. So here is another piece of mine that I am really happy about. This is my bar and entertainment area. The Minuteman flag, the U.S. flag. I've got these um, arrows that point toward the door. Very inviting. I love the uh, overhang that I built here. And it's got a lot of glass, so they, but it's high glass. It's not low glass. It's like when you're standing up, uh, when you're sitting down, you, you know, it's not like at eye level. I have a rad cleaner here, and it's working. That way, uh, again, we, we don't want anyone wandering in with radiation. So we're going to clean them as they get in here. Now, this is cool employees only this is our coat rack you can come in here and imagine coat racks in here you can hang your coat up hang your dirty radiation clothes up in here put your shoes in here whatever that's like our uh, our coat rack room so I like that it's a nice little coat rack room candle lighting because this is a bar and I want an atmosphere Liquor sale. We got some seats in here. You can just kind of sit around and lounge in here while you're waiting if you want. There's an upstairs. I'll show you that in a second. There's a bathroom. I'll show you that in a second. Here's the main bar. It's got a door. Of course, we can lock it when not in use. Now, I had a lot more atmosphere in this room. Unfortunately, I did have to scrap a lot of things, and none of my lights seem to be working. That's a shame. So these lights are supposed to be red and yellow and blue, different colors in here to give an atmosphere. Like the ones back here are all red and then these were all a different color and then those up there were a different color. And what that did was provide an atmosphere, lighting in here, really nice. And then candles on each table provided a nice glow. And these lamps kind of accent, accented things a little bit with some nice lighting. Had a lot of pictures on the wall that lit up actually. Uh, mo uh, heads mounted on the wall. The stop sign here. But you can see there; these are high windows. So when you're sitting, you know, people can't see in and see what you're doing. And I like that. For a bar, that makes a lot of sense. And then same thing uh, for the actual bar itself. The uh, bartender would be back here serving drinks. You got the window there, but nobody can really see in. And back here, I did have racks and racks of all the liquor. Unfortunately, that mod is not working either. So just imagine racks and racks and racks of liquor. I had to remove some of it as well because it ate down on resources. Then I had this little area back here for the bartender. He had a little station back here where he could just kind of sit down and eat, take a break where nobody could see him, you know, like back here. He could just like eat and take a break. And he had a little stove where he could cook some stuff. 
and uh, yeah just a little area here and a freezer to keep stuff or a refrigerator to keep the drinks and stuff um, so he had stuff back here but just imagine that was for the bartender so I love I love this area this is just a beautiful area or at least it was when it was in its entirety full because it was just really 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 had a lot of character to it okay let's take a gander at the uh, restrooms the restrooms okay uh, yeah oh man all my stuff in here is gone well, this was not an empty room so what I had here was a full sink from left to right with mirrors and it would take up this whole area this would be your sink area and then back here you had two stalls those were the mats for them but there used to be two stalls here a toilet and a toilet with uh, closing doors so you would go in close the door you know use the toilet same thing here go in close the door use the toilet and then have a sink I really really liked my design of this bathroom but it's not working all that stuff has disappeared and again high windows so nobody can see in so that's a shame that that's not working but let's head upstairs real quick this is my entertainment room or at least it was supposed to be my entertainment room uh, some lockers to store your stuff excuse me some lockers to store your stuff temporarily some music up here because this is an entertainment area we have that radio to use and then we also have a jukebox got some cigarettes of course because you want to entertain yourself pool tables this is the pool room purple lighting disco ball stoplight the two flags in here this is a great looking entertainment room this the karaoke machine over there come in here enjoy some pool it's just that simple and it's got mood it's got character to it then we come to these rooms these are private rooms this is like let's say you got a party coming in and you want a private room there would be tables and chairs in here and you can have a private room same thing in here in fact I do have some chairs and stuff in here a private room just to relax close the door where nobody maybe you pay for these that's how we get some caps you pay for those nobody bothers you private room then we have a balcony a great view out over our settlement over to Red Rocket over the main bridge there's the mall plenty of chairs and tables here supposed to be anyway an overhang to protect your head just a nice relaxing place up here if you want to view and just want to relax so I love this building I'm very happy with how this building turned out all right let's get out of here and keep going on because we got a lot more to show you it's a big settlement okay so we come here we got our settlers or robots and so forth this this right here this was supposed to be an armory backup there would be a lot of armory stuff in here weaponry uh, there's a big weapon on top to protect the settlement uh, the idea here also is if there was an incursion we could protect ourselves and hole up in here uh, that's why I build it out of concrete solid concrete all around and then decorative with wood on the edge that it's actually got full concrete on the edge and then a vault door to protect us so this is like if, if somebody was coming in and taking over I could run from my house which is obviously the main house there where I live and I can run in here and protect myself and uh, other settlers as well we can kind of live in here so the idea is you would come in here you know close the vault door we are protected now I used to have a lot more stuff in here there would be racks and racks of rations and things to live on there would be foodstuffs down here and in fact I had a little garden here that would uh, grow some food so that if we had to be here for several days or weeks or whatever we had some food to eat and then also its own generator and up here um, now these holes would not be here imagine this I guess one of my walls is gone for some reason but this was a wall this was a solid wall and this is where I would have my sleeping bags and we could like sleep up here and um, 
actually like live here for a while. Again, this wall should be here as well. This is missing, but there should be a wall here. <clears throat> then we'd come to the top and then imagine like a door that slides open and close here. We'd come to the top and on the top there's our big weapon and it is manned so we can protect our entire settlement from the top. So we can hold up in here and we can protect and fire off that weapon and we've we got we wall. got the uh, defenses here so to look over and protect everything. So I love that, I love that. And then I built a walkway with a little light here. I built a walkway right across to this roof to give us access to this roof because, check this out, on this roof, look at these defenses. I've got a turret and two lasers. This gives us, look at that view that they have out there across my settlement. They'll take out anything from a distance. So that gives us access to that. Or they can turn around and fire this way as well and give us protection out here on this area because that's where I live. That's my main house and I want it very protected. So let's go back down. I yeah. just love this little uh, this little like place here that I built. It's just really cool. Two bad pieces of it are missing, but hey. Now this is where I live and since I'm the man in charge, I need to be very protected. So I put myself out a defense thing here so that somebody can stay up here on the tower and kind of watch down the roads and protect my house. <laughs> That's pretty much it. I've got a small little fence because I don't need much because, remember, I have that fence blocked off. So we're good. And then my backyard is, is open. I want a nice big open backyard, but still protected. <clears throat> I glitched in windows in my house as well and covered up the holes. Uh, I put a fence here in the front just to give it a nice little look. And I put a couple of defense things here as well. And you can assign people to that. And uh, of course people will guard here, guard places, you know, so they can guard right in front of my house if there's a problem. Very nice. Let's take a look inside. I got some lights outside at night. You'll see them. It lights up really nice. We'll take a look at night. Come in the main door. And of course, this is the most decorated house because it's my own. So we have very clean furniture. One of the things is, since I'm the one in charge, I'm the mayor here, everything's clean, clean furniture. Uh, we have clean couches, clean tables, got a radio, TV, a uh, karaoke machine, place to relax. I can sit here and just look out the window. A fan to keep us cool. A fireplace that should have a fire in it, but that's another mod that's broken. But it should be a fire inside that fireplace. Keep me warm as well. Uh, a coffee machine of all things, because yes, I've got that. I used to have a full kitchen here. My stove is gone. I used to have a refrigerator too. I had a refrigerator here. I had a stove. I had everything, a nice kitchen set up for me. Unfortunately, all that's broken. A table to eat on, a candlelight, of course, out to the side area, the hallway, my bathroom, I have some of it still here. I've got a sink and uh, the shower, There, the toilet's gone, but I did have a toilet in here. Storage. We have uh, our vault storage. Remember, we came from the vault, right? So we have vault storage in here. We have an ice machine and a and a, a, a sink in there. This is where I sleep. Got uh, a TV in here just for some entertainment while I'm sleeping. I can stare at the please stand by sign. A locker to keep some stuff. My bed, that's all I need. A couch to kind of sit. Uh, a dresser back there. I'm using the vault dresser because it looks real nice. I mean, why not? A closet where my safe is. Um, but yeah, just my nice sleeping room for me. And then this is my main office. This is where I work on a daily basis. So I come in here. There's a little work table if I have other people in here. Uh, more storage file cabinets. I am the one in charge. I am the overseer, as the sign says. There's my desk. And I have this nice view out there uh, looking out toward the road that way and then looking that way. Um, so that's real nice. And uh, more storage here. My closet and another safe as well so just a nice like office area for myself 
so this is where I do all my paperwork and then I sleep right over there so that's my house I mean it's pretty simple we'll go to the back side here now for this side I this is where dog meat sleeps and um, kind of his own little place here and then I went ahead and put a door here to my backyard I don't know why because you could probably just go around this way so it's kind of weird but I did anyway yeah that doesn't make much sense and you can just walk around but hey I did it <laughs> so there's a door uh, there's the generator for my house I'm on separate power than everybody else because well I might need power um, I have power back here because I have a light I can turn on for uh, my backyard if I'm gonna be back here doing or working on stuff because I would have like a garage area here I've got a grill in there now but I would keep like garage type stuff you know in here tools and things to work on maybe a workshop or something you know stuff to work on back here in the backyard away from everybody but have lighting for it and a table just to sit down and relax while I'm back here pretty simple not too complicated for the backyard uh, but just imagine this would be full of like useful tools and stuff and then of course a uh, light to light up the backyard so I can be back here working and have some light and then every house I forgot to show you every house has a trash can so here's my trash can you can see the one over there on that side but every house has a uh, trash can back here so they can kind of store their own trash temporarily till it goes to the main trash here's some barrels and crates just as some loot and some stuff that are back there another defense post uh, again so we can protect this street and kind of keep an eye on everything and my house of course um, let's actually go around the perimeter before we come back to this house and this diner let's keep going through all these other houses real quick first uh, again patched up all the holes like this house you can see all the holes are patched up got the windows in there um, just you know another house design stuff in here people to relax and, and, and do stuff again I had a kitchen in here for them every house had a kitchen uh, but that mod's gone um, and then the rooms are just basically habitable rooms got a bathroom should have a toilet and a sink in there uh, some beds in here again just very simple simple living for my settlers beds beds lots of beds that's that house it's not complicated it's real simple um, right here we have the bushes kind of separating uh, the outside world I do have a defense post right here on the corner gives a real nice view around both sides yep check that tree out check that tree out take a good look at it we're gonna examine it but that's one of my pride and joys on this build as well so we come in this house now in one of my builds this was a schoolhouse I used this as the schoolhouse but in this build it's just a house I had a kitchen I had you know seating relax be nice comfortable storage uh, this is the bathroom which did have a toilet and sink more beds places to rest more beds all the holes filled up the back side of this house you know had a big hole back here I fixed that right up so it's all enclosed fix this hole up as well so it's just a nice house okay then we come around to the side of the house let's see if I did anything back here um, I left this open because of course there's a secret bunker that opens here so I left that there so we can still get to that this is all covered on the back side ah yes that's right I have a defense post here at the tree looking this way and the reason why is because I have an emergency exit door here now I do have this turret on it and I do have this turret on it and I actually have that turret back there that should be working because this is like an emergency exit. This is like a secret passage, a secret door nobody knows about. And you can see that you can't really see it. Let me let me let me show you an example. If I'm coming from this way uh, on the back side, you can't see that there's a door there. That tree and that bush conceals the door coming this way. 
So that gives it a little bit of stealth. Now this way I think you can see it. Well, uh, you can only see it until you come out wide. Then you can see the door. But it doesn't matter because turret is going to get you right in the head as you try to come in. So this is our secret escape door that if I needed to get out or some we needed to sneak settlers out because of an incursion easily done. Now this next building I'm about to show you is another pride and joy of mine. I built this out of the barn materials and it's got its own electricity. This is my showers. So one of the big thing that I thought that you know a, a settlement this size needs is bathrooms and showers. We need all of that. We need I mean big time. You want to take a shower. You want to use let's say you don't have a restroom in, in your house or it's not working here or you're just a traveler coming through. We can sell caps and actually let them use the shower and the bathroom and get money that way. And so yeah we got the big old American flag there um, but I love this and you have a male and female side. So here's the male side, here's the female side. It is separate so that you can enjoy privacy and I love that. So it's equally same on both sides. I made it so the left side is equal to the right side. They look exactly the same left and right. That's amazing to me that I was able to do that. It took a lot of work, let me tell you. But you can see how the symmetry is left and right here. Now as we go in, let's start with the male side. We got barrels out here just to kind of light the way. Keep it warm also. Remember, it's a bathhouse. We kind of want it warm in here. Now this is kind of like the waiting room or getting ready room. You can sit down and get ready. Uh, the bathroom part is on the bottom floor. So let's say you need to use the bathroom before you could take a shower. Two bathrooms in here. You got your toilet. Uh, a lot of room in here to use the bathroom, honestly. Toilet. Not too fancy. Just, you know, a bathroom. We got candles to uh, block out the scent. And uh, some racks here. You can hang some things up as you're using the bathroom or whatever. You know. But the fun stuff is up here in the showers. So restroom, shower. This took me a lot of time to build, what I'm about to show you. But I am so very happy with how this worked out. The door opens. And look at this. First we come up here and we have lockers to your left. You can store stuff in here while you're taking a shower. The red lights indicate that uh, people are taking showers. Also, it looks really good at night. Just adds some ambience to it. A table here so you can sit and wait if a shower is being used. Or if you come out of the shower and you need to, you know, wait. More lockers to store things. A water fountain to drink if you're thirsty because it's, it's going to be steamy in here. Now, here's another part I like. The top, it's like a greenhouse effect. It's all glass. That's on purpose. That heats up the shower room. That keeps it warm in the winter time here. That is our heat. The steam from the showers build up. The heat, the, the sun, the heat from the sun comes down, and you have steamed, heated showers. Brilliant. It's it's like a spa, a spa in the Commonwealth. Now to the female side, you can see that it is open at the top here, and that is to allow the steam and the heat and the temperature to equalize between both parts. But it is partitioned, so you can't get to the other side here. There's no doors, so you're not going to be climbing over to the other side or anything like that. Now we have the showers. Two doors to the showers, one in, one out, if you want to think of it that way but it doesn't have to be. You come in here and this is basically an open shower room. So yes, it's a shared shower. Now this used to look a lot better than I have it now. And in fact, all my shower heads are gone. Okay, so that's a problem. So here's the deal. Concrete floor because, well, it's a shower. A rubber mat so you don't slip. You can sit down in the middle. Now here's what I used to have. I used to have a shower head like here and then I would have a shower head here and 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 here and here. So the whole thing was surrounded by shower heads. So you could come in and you know stand under the shower head and take a shower just like that. And again high windows so nobody can see in. 
uh, but you get the sunlight coming in so you stay warm in the shower and um, I used to have them all around so you would share the shower and the water would drain you know out on the concrete floor and uh, all metal stuff in here so it could get wet you know metal seat metal containers um, this I, I, I looked at this as a shampoo and conditioner dispenser why not that's what it is it's a shampoo and conditioner dispenser that's what I've made it <laughs> so that's in here um, I also had this blocked I had some furniture here I had a big rack that kind of went up to the top to block this window so it really wasn't that visible uh, but again just imagine you know the water coming down here the whole place steamed up and uh, the water dripping on the floor and the shower heads uh, and the whole the glass all around bringing the sunlight in just absolutely beautiful in here looks good at night too now let's say you want you're not a shower guy you're a bath guy and you want a warm hot bath well we provide that too at Sanctuary Hills you come around to this side and by the way I had racks here with towels and stuff like that but you come around to this side and what do we have well it looks like it's missing I had bathtubs here that's what I had so the mod is apparently missing but I had bathtubs here that were filled with water and uh, you could uh, you could get in a couple there's a couple of bathtubs you could just lay in a hot bathtub and the windows up here are small can't see in nice candlelight uh, kind of dark back here but uh, you could have a bath and that has obviously disappeared I have to say I am just so happy with how the shower room came out so happy Now let's take a gander at the female side. Basically it's the same thing. Come in. Everything is just reversed. And man did this take me a long time to construct. To reverse everything. To get it all equally equally uh, made. Bathroom. shower so same thing here except reversed I also had some uh, I did have some sinks and mirrors here so that's missing sinks and mirrors are missing so I did have that but lockers to store your stuff you come in and the same ordeal on this side you would have shower heads here on this wall shower heads on that wall a shower head there and you would um, come in here and just you know enjoy your shower nobody can see you nobody can see in uh, very private steamy not come around here and need there be bathtubs on this side as well I even had some more mood lighting here on this side which I meant to add on the other side apparently some furniture is missing because those candles are floating but you get the idea imagine this place full of towels and other things and items and then a bath, some bathtubs there. I'm just really, really happy with how that whole building came out. It was, it was, a, it was a very big build. Took a lot of time. Got a turret back here, just protecting the area. Ah, another one of my custom buildings. This is my workshop. So this is where I do all of my modding and workshop stuff. I've got a trash can. I got a generator. Got a little porch. There used to be more stuff here. I should have a scavenger station here, which I do, so that's good. And I had more stuff here that was lined up that's missing, but I would come in here and check this out. This is my workshop. So there's my chem stations. There's my armor stations. Check out my armors. There's my tool stations and... Um, just everything I need to uh, do weaponry and armor and uh, modding and everything this is like my workshop and again with the uh, glass ceiling a little bit of glass ceiling to add some warmth and light in the area and again surrounded by glass as well just adds a nice nice touch to everything chairs to work on tool benches just a nice place to do my work, you know, in here. 
open this door we got a nice little back porch sit at the table kind of look around see what's going on oh my walls are missing okay well imagine there would be junk walls there but apparently my junk walls are missing so that should not be open like that that should not be open that had walls it did have walls Okay, let's keep going. Let's go to this house before we take a look at the tree because the tree is really cool. Now, this was an interesting area. The bushes really kind of uh, get in the way here. And I wanted to make this easy to, to get over and pass. So I actually built this little high thing here. I don't know what you call it, but it's a high thing. <laughs> it's got a table on the top. You can sit here and just look out and enjoy things. But it basically the whole existence of this is just to easily allow you to go up and down so you can get over those bushes real easily. No, no fuss, no mess. Just a way to get over the bushes here. Ta-da. Let's take a look at the uh, inside of this house before we get to the tree. Because again, just typical community house. Uh, lots of seating. There's some lighting. Uh, again, there was supposed to be a full kitchen here, but there's not now. A bedroom with uh, some chairs and a bench to sit here and look out over the crops. You can see people working on the crops out there behind this house. Another bedroom here. And another bedroom here. Typical of all the other ones. Lots of space to work in. So I just want to show you that real quick. Okay, now let's take a look at this sucker here. This, I am so happy with how this came out. So what you're looking at is an elevated platform built around the tree that allows us to climb up to the top and just sit and enjoy the view. I wanted to utilize this tree in some fashion and I was thinking what could I do well a tree house kind of thing sounds nice and I literally just built a square around the tree and said well you know that's it that's it right there put some columns in so it's supported put some rails on top and some stairs it's a high climb but a great view up there and this is our kind of like selling point of sanctuary hills you come here and you climb the tree thing, whatever you want to call it. Somebody come up with a name for it. It's a tree thing. I also have benches along the bottom, so you can just kind of sit around. They go in a circle around the tree. Sit in the benches and just kind of sit there. There's lighting on the inside. It glows up at night. It looks real nice. We come to, uh, you can see uh, how all the benches are all along here. And then the lighting here. And then the stairs. And yes, the stairs are supported. I've got supports. They are supported. They are not just free floating. So we come up and check this out. Benches up here. Now I used to have lighting up here, but apparently it's disappeared. But yeah, benches up here so you can sit down and just kind of enjoy the view sit here and relax nobody's gonna mess with you nobody can see you <laughs> you're just uh, up here on the tree kind of doing your own thing so I like this area this is really cool it also gives you just a really nice view there's the backside we're gonna take a look at all that here in a minute there's the back side of all that. There's my main crops. I've got a couple of crops down there. Food stations for cooking things. That's a diner we're going to take a look at in a second. Uh, the entertainment house is the yellow one. There's my mortar and my armory over there. You can see the mall over there. There's the, uh, the uh, hospital. There's the bridge. Uh, there's the fishing area out there on the water. My workshop. Uh, the bathhouse here. These houses over here. Um, yeah, just a great place to be up here. Just really is. Really nice. Good views all around. 
All right, let's continue. Let's start with the diner before we hit the back side. Let's go in on the front side. This is our community diner, okay? This is where everybody comes to eat. Um, we cook our food, we eat as a community, but we come in here and you can get any kind of stuff you want. We've got a jukebox in here to give us some ambience, some music, a coffee machine. There's the main counter where the person here who works. Got the soda machine. Yep, we got a soda machine. And the, all the Nuka-Cola stuff you want. <laughs> it's all here. And it all is supposed to be working. I'm not sure if it is all working, but it should be working. And then the diner seats. Check these diner seats out so we can all sit down and eat comfortably. Isn't that awesome? And this whole place looks good. Manning the soda fountain. He's manning the soda fountain. Good for him. He's having a soda. Got the glass all around. Gives a nice view. We have these soft lights in here. We've got candles in here. It's just a really, really nice looking diner where everybody can just come together our bell when dinner is ready we have uh, this little fire there to give us an ambience we also have an outdoor area so if you don't want to eat inside check out these tables here under this overhang what I built need, so I built these out of the barn of course I took the roofs from there it kind of overhangs over our entertainment house which I like because it really protects it, gives it good protection from rain and so forth. Now I used to have a lot of good mood lighting in here. I had blues and reds and stuff, but none of my lights are working. That's a shame. So there, just imagine mood lighting under here, purple lights, that kind of thing. It looked really nice. It did at one time anyway, <laughs> but imagine that under here and you can just kind of sit and eat and enjoy that. Um, back here, of course, it's got its own generator that's powering all that stuff. Uh, this is where they cook the food back here. Uh, we have some pots to uh, boil. We are uh, doing some rotisseries. Got a grill. There's the meat hanging on the rotisseries. Look at that good stuff we've got. So they do all the cooking back here. It's fenced off so nobody can mess with it. Uh, traps because of course we utilize the water a lot here. I also put these boards down to kind of make the uh, make the terrain more even, more flat, and less muddy back here. So I kind of uh, glitched these into the ground, as you can see, and it uh, gives it some nice platforming. So you can walk back here a little bit more easier. Uh, you can see it goes all the way to the road back here. I've kind of made some steps uh, out of all that, kind of glitched them into the ground to make like steps, like you're walking up steps. But it just allows us to uh, walk through this area a lot easier. And I like I just like the way the flooring came out. That's really, really rustic and I just love the looks of it. Got some hides and stuff here. Um, got a uh, some power generation because we have lights that light up these crops. I'm gonna show you at night. It looks really good. But you can um, turn these lights on and so all of our corn, they can work it at night. So back here on this house, you'll see all the corn coming in quite nice lots of corn lots of corn this is all just corn here but then behind this house we have multiple crops I went ahead and extended the backyard of this house quite a bit put a fence around it and we have look at all these crops we got melons coming in we got tomatoes here uh, we got the, the fruit trees coming in here bringing in stuff lots of crops back here to give us food for sanctuary so we got the crops here we got the crops here and then we have the food cooking going on here and the sh and the places and tables to like cut the fish and do all the working on uh, in fact there's a barrel of fish right there ready to go so uh, there's some hanging on a rack right there so they're all ready and I like that also a light for this area hit this switch and this light lights up this uh, this area too for working on at night and I'll show you at night because there's shadows and it looks really 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 good um, let me show you the entertainment house first um, we have here just a, a stove an outdoor stove to cook on 
a place to store our cola, our milk, some ice. Uh, we do have a slot machine because this is my entertainment house. This is where like the settlers can come and also entertain themselves. Cigarette machine. This is obviously the main workbench. Um, but they've just got an entertainment here. They got some uh, a jukebox which should be powered up. It's not apparently. We have um, our karaoke machine, TV, radio, uh, record player, or whatever, hollow tape player, I guess, and whatever it's called. Um, couches, chairs, a uh, big old table to enjoy, a magazine rack if you want to get a magazine and read. You can check that out, read a magazine. Mama Murphy, that's where she lives, right there, looking at the corn. She is... She is a woman of the corn. Let's just say that. Uh, and then back here would be a kitchen. There was supposed to be a stove and oven and places here would be a kitchen. That has disappeared. A weight room. Uh, obviously from the uh, vault DLC. Uh, we have uh, some exercise bikes. So you can uh, just pedal here and maintain your health. Looking out the window there. Uh, a, work, a weight bench. So you can... Uh, get some gains going on there and a pommel vault thing so you can practice that in here it's a little small but it works <laughs> and a radio so you can have some music while you're doing it so this is our like exercise area entertainment area kind of place and that's basically uh, that house and now we're back to you see where we are here with the the main armory thing but let's head toward the back side now oh look at all my settlers oh because I ring the bell that's right well there they are and they are ready for food unfortunately I have no food sorry I do have a couple of extra wells uh, here for you know for water quick quick buy we do have actual um, uh, ones in the water out there but these are just extras I built this little gazebo. I wanted a gazebo out here, and so I built one. Uh, just a nice little simple, you know, covered area out here. You can come up here. There's benches. There should be chairs here. And you can just sit here and enjoy. I mean, there's not much to that. This was just a... This was one of my first builds I ever did, was to just construct this little simple thing here. I did put some fruit trees, or fruit trees around it just to give it some um, character and because they are useful as well. I also put some fruit trees around the, um, the clinic here as well. That gives the people inside something to look at, kind of decorates it, keeps it from being bland, plus they're useful as well. Uh, another emergency water thing here also. I left this area open right here. I took out the uh, swing, the uh, that thing it had the uh, like uh, bar set thing it had in here took that out and just left this open but this I did not leave open this is awesome this is my fire pit so one of my ideas I wanted in the settlement because this is such a large area I wanted a large outdoor fire pit imagine people come out here they congregate they maybe cook some food even or they're eating food or whatever I wanted a huge outdoor fire pit so I used uh, the, that ground thing you had they have here put benches and chairs and I put these uh, fire barrels here and then in the middle a fire pit now I used to have a bigger one actually I used to have a much bigger fire pit here that took up more space uh, so I actually had to replace this for this video so that you could kind of get the idea of what this would look like but just yeah imagine a big old fire pit here that's all this is that's why it's on dirt and uh, metal underneath so it doesn't burn the whole place down but a big old fire pit we want to light it up here you know just bring the light bring the heat bring a great congregating place for this place <laughs> what can i say let's go over here real quick because this is where i have my beacon uh powered by a generator and i have a spotlight at night that spotlight does a great job of covering the bridge and uh, the road out there and the waters and all that. Uh, so that lights that up well so we can see. Uh, we're back to the front here. Here's the uh, guard post. And you can see how good of a view they have over everything. Real good view there with the guard post. You can see behind us, behind real well as well. 
And again, this is all open. I wanted an open atmosphere here. I did cover up some of the holes, however, so people don't just fall off. Covered that up with some cement there. Um, some barrels. I've also got a turret there just protecting the waters and protecting everyone. Now this is my pier. I'm also happy of this. Another construction of mine. A pier that goes from here all the way out into the water so that we can fish. So that we can catch fish. So this is awesome. I put a little covering on it. Give us a little bit of shade. Some uh, people can sit out here on the benches too if they want. In the winter times we got a barrel to keep them warm. Now these are not complete. Uh, in fact the columns are missing. I used to have columns coming down supporting this thing. That is apparently missing. But imagine that you would just come out here on these two edges, sit on the bench, and throw a rod out. It's just that simple. Come out here and throw a rod out. Look this way. Throw a rod out. Come over to this one. Throw a rod out. This side, throw a rod out. Catch your fish. And then when you catch your fish, Look, we got the tables to work on them. In fact, here's a whole barrel of them right here. You can cut your fish. You can prepare your fish. You can get them all ready out here. Here's a lantern so you have some light. Uh, you can put them in the sink and wash them. Uh, a little bit of decoration to indicate that it's like a fishing area. Uh, here's some fish on the rack that somebody's just caught and some other things as well. Check that out. So we have racks out here where you can hang the fish temporarily when you catch them. Uh, but yeah, this is our fish catching area. Because I would imagine, again, the waters would be a very important part of all this. Right? Now, there's more to this. I have a walkway down here so that we can easily walk over this and come down because I've got stuff out here. Uh, I imagine people might want to actually be in the water fishing. So here's some traps. So we can set some traps. They have covers so they can be in uh, shade and not be in the heat all day. Uh, more racks and things to put their fish on. So this little island, you know, is something that they would use to fish on or fish from. And this island as well, right here by the bridge. Just an, another area to come out here and uh, have... There's some netting that they use to catch stuff. There's some traps, some, some, some shelves. Uh, we do have light, some uh, lamps down here for lighting, uh, some uh, baskets to keep stuff in, a bathtub maybe. Who knows? Just all, you know, who knows the guy that works in this area? He's 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 a weird guy. We don't we don't mess. We just we just let him do his own thing. You know, we just let him do his own thing. We don't mess with him. But uh, yeah, you can come down here and just kind of enjoy the protection of Sanctuary Hills and still get all the fish you want. Some barrels and crates down here where we're storing things. Um, yeah, very cool. I just love this pier thing that I created. Then to protect everybody that's in the water or on the pier or whatever, I built this very cool like platform for weapons. Now they are not working at the moment, but the idea is there's a there's two laser turrets and a um, missile turret. Unfortunately, they're not working and here's access to them if you need maintenance climb up here and Access them so they can they can see a lot and protect a lot from up here They also protect my main power station and water station over here So this is another platform. I'm extremely excited about or was extre extremely excited about building this is my platform for my water and main power generation and garage barn area as well where I keep everything. So it has a gate, so you can close the gate, protect it, but you come out here, we got my power pylons and just a big area where I can use as a work area. I had a table or something there as well. That lamp was sitting on something. Uh, these are our main water plants, obviously. Water filtration, two big water filtrations. They are directly in the water and notice uh, they are um, accessible as well. I built these gates here so we oh, we can close and open a gate and we can walk out on a platform and check this out. Walk all the way out on these platforms and like operate on them if we need to. But then we can come back and close the gate 
and they are protected and there's a there's a fence all around so nobody can come in from up from down there to up here there would be a working light there but it's not working same thing here open gate so we can come out and work on the water close the gate and it's all protected and then here is a guard post because this is the far end corner of our settlement and this is where we have the water and uh, our main power plant so we want to protect it so there imagine a uh, somebody defending this area basically that's the idea now this part is cool um, uh, however I am missing part of my fence here imagine concrete coming all the way up to this part of the fence I used to have concrete coming up to here so this was covered it should be covered not open um, but my idea at the beginning of this settlement for this build was to make it so that I had one centralized power plant location that powered the entire settlement. Unfortunately, that didn't work so well. Had many bugs, many problems. Power stopped working halfway through the settlement. I had to diversify the power. That's just how it had to be. So this is a basically a remnant of that. This is where the main power generation was supposed to be. I'd have two, three, or four power generators right here. But uh, two of them still remain, and they power the turrets, and they power the water, and they power some other things in this area. But imagine the main power here. I got a light that shines on them so we can see them on to all, at all time. And look at the shadow of the grating from the light. Absolutely brilliant looking. Uh, I used to... Uh, uh, I have a mod that gives these uh, these construction light shadows and it just is amazing at night This is an amazing amazing view and uh, we'll take a look at that My main barn this is where I keep all the work stuff I need all the fishing stuff we would need just imagine any kind of equipment we need for working the whole settlement uh, we would keep that equipment here in this big old barn you know that makes sense to have a centralized place for all that stuff and then we come to this side again imagine a wall here there's supposed to be a wall here and of course a an outpost here to just kind of look out and um, you know protect the settlement protect everyone I think that's it <laughs> I think I have now given you a full tour of Sanctuary Hills amazing amazing build uh, I put a lot of work into this and unfortunately it's too bad a lot of it is glitched out and not working at the moment because it really is pretty cool when it all came together uh, let me tell you that it was very cool when it all came together um, I guess the next thing to do is to give you a night view of Sanctuary Hills so you can see it at night because I think it will show you a whole new light at night <laughs> No pun intended. So I'm going to switch to nighttime and uh, Cut and uh, show you what that looks like Okay, are y'all ready for the night view here we go as we enter Sanctuary Hills at night I'll go a little bit faster till we get to the bridge check it out we are entering the night zone the first thing you'll notice is all the lamps that just that farm run by ghouls? they just Isn't light light the entire path up really nice they're very close together so because I wanted a lot whoa that's fun I wanted a lot of light um, you know to make my settlers feel comfortable so there's the area out there there's the fire pit you can see the lighting inside the houses as we walk through this area just wonderful uh, comfortable lighting here um, you can see how the yes. how the light 
gives us light over the garbage bins so that you can come out at night and dump your garbage and not be scared of the dark. <laughs> um, the um, barrels give a, a, a great amount of light and I like that for the uh, people here that are protecting us. They can get warm, keep warm, and have light. We'll come into the uh, nurses area. Um, just a, a, a soft lighting in here. We don't want it too bright but we do want some soft lighting. This person's taking a nap. Surgery, uh, the long-term room, and the mall area. Yes, it's lit up at night because maybe there's some shop workers working at night. Who knows? Come in and do some uh, night shopping, but uh, it's lit up anyway for them. Uh, and I love the contrast of the shadows and the lighting in here. It's very, very cool looking with the uh, sky above. But the shops are plenty lit up if you want to come here at night. You can see the light falls over the main desk. But uh, plenty of light if you need to go shopping. Pharmacy as well. All the rooms here. And the bar. Again, just imagine it full of things and uh, it would look better. But I think that lit up real well. Now the how the houses, they uh, used to have, like I said, electricity. Now they're just lit up by these gas lamps or oil lamps or whatever they are. Uh, which still looks kind of cool. I mean, it gives a nice color and lighting to the rooms at night. It's not too scary looks really nice and look at the purple lighting above in the in the entertainment bar and then the bar itself that lighting in there looks good we have the arrows pointing to the front door so you know where to go <laughs> we don't really need to go into every house because the um, the lighting is the same in pretty much every house but let's take a look down here as you can see we go down our exit way to the vault we have uh, some spotlights that basically shine on and light up the exit door and also allows us to see if people are coming in or out. Uh, but that lets you know where to exit in case of an emergency. Let's go into the bar. Again, I used to have more mood lighting in here, but the candles bring a nice ambience to it to the place. And then just imagine that these this red lighting you see here is replicated through the rest of the bar. Uh, gave it a nice mood lighting at night and looked uh, really, really, really good. But right now, it's a little bear. Because <laughs> they aren't working. And then we come up to the top, and the same thing. Purp the purple lighting up here is working, though. I'm happy with that. So check out the, the uh, strobe light, or the, um, the ball light, and then the purple. Oh, that just really looks good to me. Look at the purple on that. Ooh, that is beautiful. Yeah, that lighting is real striking. That's what I wanted in here. I wanted a moody atmosphere. Let's see. Let's check out my house. It's probably the most lit. But I do have some candlelight lighting in the corner there that contrasts nicely with the kitchen lighting in here. So it has that nice contrast of warm glow to uh, kitchen type lighting. And then the living room lighting also is also vibrant. It's got some glows in there with some uh, of the lamps and other things lighting up the uh, living room area. The office also has that contrast of glowing candles and uh, lighting in here, lamps and so forth to light up certain areas. The contrast of lighting is very sharp in here looks really good kind of the same with the bedroom a lamp and a candle it's just that simple looks really nice in here have a nice sleep let's go across to the uh, entertainment room I don't think the lighting's too special in here nah just have some candles and stuff in here kind of dark actually the weight room is lit up pretty well Again, just imagine this area with ambient lighting. Right now it's not, but imagine it. 
so you can kind of go there at night and enjoy it. And the diner is pretty, pretty nice. Some of the lamps aren't working. Like I don't know why that one's not working. Some are and some aren't. That one's not either. But just imagine that the diner is, you know, got this nice soft glow lighting to it. And uh, seating and everyone. You can come in here at night if you want. Um, again, I'm not going to show these houses because it's the same with the lanterns. Ah, here we go. The uh, tree has got the lantern or the lamps underneath it. So it kind of lights up the inside of it. Gives it a nice glow. The whole interior here is also circled in. And then this place is really cool. I like the way, look at the way these barrels look and shine the shadows on the buildings here. That's really nice. Then inside, um, it's not too special. But let's look up here in the shower. Yeah. So you can see, you can take a shower at night and it's not too bright at night. So um, that's, that's great. And it's got the red lighting here. Got to kind of give it some atmosphere. Come in here and perfect lighting for a shower and then again the bathtub used to be back here with some ambient lighting not working let's look at the other side because it has more red lighting in that area in the corner see that was my idea with the bathtub it was to give it a very red glow back here with the bathtubs to make it soft, you know, yellow and red glow. So I think the bathrooms and showers look great at night. My shop is lit up pretty bright because obviously I need a lot of light if I'm doing, you know, workshop stuff. So this place is really bright. It's really lit up. Let's take a look up from the top. Just give you a look around. You can see out through there, you can see the, the, the soft glows in the buildings are nice. Um, the fires out there, the lamps, street lamps along the road look cool. The lights in the houses. I mean, this looks like a living settlement. People live here and enjoy their life. And then out through there, look at that, that's very cool. It's like so dark out in the rest of the, the uh, settlement and the fallout out there. Except for in here, it's nice and cozy. Again, I don't really need to show you the inside of that house. But we have some uh, the fires out here giving some nice glow light. Now let me show you this because this is so cool. So here's the corn. Turn this on. Check out that lighting. Is that not the just some of the greatest lighting you've seen it lights up all the corn so well look at the corn reflecting off this building here um, it's got shadows it's got light uh, it's just it's just really really I think that looks good I think that looks so good but as you go through all the corn you see they got plenty of light in here working and look at all the shadows falling on the corn itself it's beautiful Uh, you can see some of my blue lighting actually like right there. Oh, there we go. Some of it's showing up. It must be connected to the switch for some reason, but there's some of my blue lighting I had out here. See, it gives it a, a nice color out here at night. I like that. Let's turn this one on. Same thing. Look at that. They've got light out here so they can work at night. I love the way it casts the shadows everywhere just looks so good but they have plenty of light to work with look the light goes all the way out to here I mean it's pretty bright light let me tell you that's a lot of light but they have it if they need it let's go ahead and turn it off And then here's our fire pit. Look how much light that gives. Look at the shadows coming off the main fire pit there. The barrels. A lot of light down here. It just brightens the whole area up. 
gives you something to come out and enjoy and not be so scared of the dark. You know what I mean? Uh, back here we just have a fire barrel uh, and, and, a, and some lanterns. I would bring lanterns out here if they were going to fish at night or whatever. And just bring lanterns. And then over here, kind of the same deal. Um, had a light there. These are not really lit up. Uh, and oh yes, the lighting from this one. Check out the contrast on that. It's beautiful with the shadows and the way that's coming through. That lets us just keep an eye on the generators, let us know they're okay. We can kind of see them from afar. But it keeps an eye on them for us. But I just like the way that looks so much. The light goes all the way out to here, in fact. Kind of lights up this whole side. So we can see people coming in or not. And look at that. That's beautiful. The way it goes through there and shines on that. I'm sorry, I just love it. I'm I'm a man of immersion. I love my game immersion. And that is immersive. <laughs> Let me tell you, that is totally immersive. So here we go. This is the kind of the back side of everything. Um, you can see the purple lights from the inside. See the red and the purple from the outside. That looks really neat. And then we're back to here. We got this guy's got a barrel too. Oh yeah, the spotlight. Is it working? Sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. Darn it, it's not working right now. I wonder if I can make it work. If I can select it, gotta get it right on the money. There we go. That's what I was hoping for. So there you go. Look at look at the spotlight. It shines all of that area out there on the hill. It shines up the entire bridge. It cut. I mean, you wouldn't think it would, but it does. It even gets some of the dock out there. Look at that. It goes the entire bridge, and then out to there too. So that's a pretty wide and bright area that it covers. So I'm really happy with that with that one spotlight. That's really all you need. I mean, that does it all. Really covers a lot of area. Okay, so there you go, everybody. That is my Sanctuary Hills Fallout 4 Settlement Tour. This settlement, like I said, was made... Um, probably around the year 2018. I had made many more primitive type of uh, settlement builds for Sanctuary Hills before that. And in the future, maybe I'll show you a couple of those. Older ones I did. They're very primitive. But I could show you some older ones. But for right now, I'm going to leave this as my most recent and current Sanctuary Hills build and uh, leave it at that. Now what do I have planned for the future? Like I said, I'm going to be replaying Fallout 4 and when I do that I will be rebuilding and making new settlements in Fallout 4 2020 year and plus. So stay tuned for that but right now I'm gonna go ahead and uh, show you all of my other settlements that I have built as well, my older settlements. And uh, then, then I will get to the new stuff. But this is Sanctuary Hills. Let's call this my 2018 build. And um, I hope you like it. I hope it uh, was interesting. And I hope you saw something that maybe sparked uh, some uh, interest and creativity in, uh, in you to maybe do something or expand upon that you saw here. I think that would be exciting. If you see something here, uh, you are absolutely free to use my ideas. Uh, absolutely free. Take my idea and run with it. Make it crazy. Do whatever you want. I would love that. And I'd love to see it if you do it. Uh, that would be really good. I will feature your video here, in fact, if you want to do something like that. Take one of my ideas in any of my settlements that I've made. Expand upon that. Make it awesome. And I will feature your video here if you want me to do that. Or at least snippets of your video if that's what you want. Um... 
I think that would be a really cool thing. But this is my Sanctuary Hills, and I hope you enjoy it. And uh, please leave me a, uh, a like if you like this video, if you like what you see. Uh, it does help the algorithm. I appreciate it, and um, it really does help if you do that. Uh, I want to make more of these kinds of videos, and so that kind of thing does help. And also subscribe to the channel if you want to see more of these videos, because like I said, I will be doing a series of them. So you want to get those updates, subscribe, and hit the bell notification. That allows you to do that as well. That is my plan moving forward, is to do a series of these videos. Lots of series of these videos. <laughs> Uh, also, give me some uh, feedback below on the format of this video. This one took a very long time to do the tour. Um, let me know what you think of that time frame. Is that too long? Is that too short? Do you want less commentary or more commentary? Do you want uh, maybe a shorter version of this? Uh, I might consider doing like a quick like silent run where I do like just a really short 10 minute silent run with no commentary showing what the build looks like. I might consider that. Let me know what you think of that sort of thing in the future and I will add those kinds of things as well. Um, thank you all for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and please stay tuned for the next one. Check out Twitter at Brent underscore justice for updates. You can follow me there. Also check out my Patreon page, patreon.com forward slash Brent justice. This helps support the channel and also allows me to publish more and more videos. <laughs>